There are times in my life where I have to be the responsible and handsome adult that I am. Times where I have to be strong and level-headed. But not right now, so let's get on with the rest of the video, shall we? What's up, bitches? Taven here, wishing to make you go, what the fuck? If I do fail in making you say such vulgar language, then go ahead and try sniffing some grinded unicorn horn, and then rewatch this video. If you don't have any grinded unicorn horn, then go to your local troll market where it is sold daily, and discreetly, by an unusually friendly goblin named Bobo. And, uh, don't be alarmed if he suddenly smells your hands. You know, I wasn't always this strange, really. I was... I used to be more naive and more... What's the word? Ordinary. No. Boring? Nah. Um... Uh... Oh, normal. Yeah. In my life, it's impossible to be part of the crowd when I never was part of it to begin with. And over time, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger and stranger. <laughs> but on a serious note, though, I do enjoy expressing myself. And I just felt like randomly mentioning that because, well, you know, the art of self-expression should be something that we all focus on. We should all be ourselves and not try to force ourselves to fit in with the rest of society because, truth be told, we should already know this, society sucks. And a lot of society is superficial and and harsh with their judgment and just want to make sure you're going through hell to make their own pathetic existences feel like they mean something. And we should not allow people to bring us down for being who we are. No matter how weird we are, no matter how amusingly psychotic we are, as long as we're not out trying to slit people's throat or hunt down children for, to suck their souls out, I think we should all be ourselves. No matter what. And I just wanted to tell you guys that because I've been seeing a lot of kids just being bashed. Just for being weird. My little brother is as strange as I am. Probably stranger and as strange as my mother. And same for my little sister. But they've been bullied because they're strange. And I hate that they're trying to fit in. And I'm always like, dudes, dudes. Don't, don't, you know, don't try to fit in. Just be yourself and you'll find the right friends eventually. And they're about to go into middle school soon. And I am absolutely terrified for them because when I was in middle school, I mean, to me, middle school, I think to everyone else too, I'm not sure if it's just me, but it's where you find where you belong. And it's this whole rush to fit in, to find your place. And I'm scared literally shitless thinking about it i mean literally i have to go use the bathroom after thinking about it you know because it, it just puts a lot of pressure on my nerves for my little brother and sister and i'm gonna be on high alert when they're in middle school because that's just where the most influential bullshit comes into their lives so follow my lead as i'm trying to have them follow my lead be yourself Express yourself with freedom. Don't worry about what other people say about you or think about you. Who gives a damn? It doesn't really affect you. And if they try to push you around, go tell someone about it. Don't try to take care of it yourself. Don't hold it in. Don't try to, you know, be prideful about it. Don't be like, I'm not going to tell anyone. I can do this. I can be tough. Don't. Don't. Just... Go tell the teacher. Discreetly. Don't be like, I'm gonna tell on you. <gasps> Don't do that. Uh, just be like, okay. <laughs> hey, teacher. They're bullying me. Don't tell them, though. Pretend that someone else saw it. these guys bullying me. It's anonymous. Right. You know, like someone going around the corner. Whee! <laughs>
I don't I don't even know why I came up with a oink. But you get my point. <laughs> don't stay quiet. But don't be loud about it. Do it smartly. And sooner or later you'll get rid of those assholes. Okay. I'll repeat it one more time. Be yourself, man! Perfect the art of expressing oneself. For it is oneself who is true to thyself. Am I, am I speaking it correctly? I don't even know anymore, but I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.